Okay, so I just wanted to do a little video on this. I've been wanting to get one for for ages after a couple of friends of mine have got it. My neighbour's got one for his bike and stuff as well. Um, and I wanted to get one and try it. Um, I think they're a little bit on the pricey side, but there are um, there are discounts available from them, uh, which I think give you either five or ten percent off and stuff like that. So you can save yourself a little bit of money that way. Um, this is the uh, the quadlock motorbike stem mount. Um, this is basically what you get in the box, obviously, minus the box. So you get your Allen key tool, which is really a perfect size for what you need. Um, the mount for holding, oh sorry, part of the bracket for holding the mount for the phone. And you also get, obviously, this bit, which is the bit that goes in your fork stem. So it comes with two different sizes. Uh, mine is this one. Um, this one was just like way too small. Uh, I'm not sure what this one would actually come or be for. Maybe some of the newer bikes, I'm not really too sure to be honest. Um, this has been fitted on a uh, 2002 CBR 600F4. Um, really simple to change the uh, the actual mount over as well. Um, there was a little Allen key bolt in there that you undo. There you go, it's just focused in a little bit. Um, so you undo the Allen key bit there. Uh, whilst holding the end bit here that comes off and then that allows you to swap over this bit um, when you put it all back together for the size that you need the way that it works is, is quite amazing really really simple design actually but very very clever as well so basically when you tighten it up it does this that will just focus there you go um, when you tighten it it does that so then it kind of open it sort of like pushes out them so it doesn't move um, I had it fitted in mine just as I was trying it and stuff like that and it's just it's so simple to do it's ridiculous um, so yes yeah, so I'm gonna fit it in and show you how it works okay so uh, this is the this is my bike um, this is obviously the fork stem mount here normally comes with like a, a large plastic um, call it a cap of sorts I guess uh, it's a little bit rusty actually but never mind so anyway so this literally just pops into there like that and then take it all pop it into the centre into the centre of the allen key and then literally just twist away I think you only need something like four newton meters of torque or something like that if you really wanted to put a, a torque wrench on it but you don't really need to um, obviously with um, like with your bike the best way to do it is to obviously get the bike out have it on its uh, have it on the center stand if you've got one or paddock stand if you've got one um, I have got a paddock stand but I literally just I haven't bothered to get it out um, I'm going to make it obviously as aligned as straight as possible with um, so I've picked like here so basically where the key uh, where the ignition barrel is to kind of get it as straight as and then you simply um, turn it until it tightens up and there you go that's it that is in there as solid as anything that is not coming out of it at all and then it's you know it's not coming out in a hurry you need to undo that to take it out so Next bit is this bit here. So this little bit here is just like a, I suppose like a waterproof mount as well, stops water from getting in there. That pops into the top on there and that goes on quite solid. And then, that's you've got the mount. This is a little bit awkward to do with, uh, with one hand. Um, I haven't got anywhere to actually put the phone yet, so. Basically, uh, that fits over the top, rather that way, or however you're going to have it. So this is where you need your bike out, because you need to be sat on the bike to pick uh, the position of where this is actually going to be fitted. Um, so get it to where you kind of like it, and where you think you're going to need it, um, and then the screw goes in on this side here with the countersunk side symbols so come back to you in about two seconds 
ta-da! And there you go, done. So as I said, that's where it goes in on the countersunk side. You just keep obviously you tighten it up until it's at a stage where it's not going to move. Don't go too mental with it because otherwise you'll end up um, shredding it or something. Um, and there you go, that's basically the main mount bit um, fitted and done. Next bit is um, is the actual uh, phone mount itself. So the phone mount itself works on a spring system um, because when you come to take your phone off, you have to obviously you've got the blue bit there where it says push. Um, you push on there, and that kind of releases the uh, the mechanism that's holding your phone in. Um, again, this is something that's a little bit awkward to do one-handed, but it's got that there that nut on there which clearly fits in there and then you just tighten it on to kind of like where again where it needs to be so I'll come back to you again in two seconds okay. tightened on uh, you can see how secure that is it's literally moving the whole bike that is not coming out so the next bit is for the actual quad lock case uh, I bought the quad lock case actually um, separate from uh, somebody on Facebook Marketplace um, only because I was looking around to see if I could get them any cheaper than what were on the website I think it cost me about £12 in the end so it isn't too bad, it's not the end of the world anyway but okay. so back of the case obviously has the same fitment as what's on the actual quad lock mount um, so you can either have your portrait or landscape position using a sat nav but it's whatever personal preference isn't it so um so that's so that should go and like that and then boom clicked in position and that's it and again even just holding the case obviously very gentle like but holding the case you can see it's like moving the whole bike that is not coming off um, this case is for the uh, Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus. Um, I think in total this video has probably taken me like 10 minutes if that. Um, so, quickest and most simplest thing to fit. It really, really is. Uh, so there you go. Hope this kind of like helps out a little bit. Um, Again, there are vouchers available from Quadlock as well. They give you, I think, 10% off just uh, for signing up for their newsletter. I personally found uh, a voucher on um, eBay, which actually you pay like £1.98 for. Um, they gave me 30% off of the total price. So there are things out there. Uh, I mean, things like this, it's always worth looking to see if you can get a little bit more discount off of people. Um, so yeah, by all means, have a look around. See what you can find. Thanks very much for watching. So along with the uh, the fork stem mount that I bought, obviously from my bike, uh, I also bought the car mount as well. I kind of went the whole hog, um, and I've just fitted it in uh, in my car, fitted it in a position where I can put it in portrait or landscape, um, and it doesn't sort of like interfere with either of the pillars or the top of the uh, the dashboard above your your dials. Um, I could probably, I could literally hand on heart say that this is probably without a doubt, in my opinion, the strongest mount I have ever seen. It is on there like you would not believe. Um, just taking the, um, like the simple, if I can grab it, just taking like the simple cellophane cover off of the, um, the suction pad and putting that on the windscreen before, without even tightening it up or anything, um, it's literally i could bet i could i just I struggled to get it off of the screen so with it suction mounted on um by twisted this bit here which is really really tight um there is no way that, that is coming off in a hurry you'll either break the mount or you'll i don't know pop the windscreen or something stupid maybe not as extreme as that but there you go um so again another win for for quad lock um fantastic mount um, both of them, I think, uh, but like both the mounts probably cost me 
in the region of about 70 quid I think it was or something like that um, they should have been around about a hundred and something pound mark I think it was uh, but as I said to you in like the other video with the uh, the bike mount found a, a voucher that was on eBay uh, it was like one pound 98 the, the the chap on the other the chap who's selling them he sends you the code for it you put it in at the discount bit um, where you would normally put discount codes and stuff and it took 30% off of it so I ended up saving obviously like got you know a small or well, quite a lot of money to be fair uh, I mean obviously in the times of like lockdown that we're in now the COVID-19 lockdown um, you know sort of like money's sort of like money's hard for people and things like that as well obviously if anybody's on furlough and stuff like that and this is something that you have been eyeing up and think oh yeah you know what you're gonna bite the bullet and get one that's the best thing to do Thanks very much for watching. Cheers.